السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The amana or the trust and taking care of the trust is an important issue in the everyday life of the Muslim and that's because Islam put a lot of emphasis on taking care of the trust if someone has given you a trust to take care of you have to safeguard it Allah Azza wa Jalla mentioned in the Quran Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu La takhunu Allah wa rasul Wa takhunu amanatikum Wa antum ta'lamun O you believe Do not act treacherously towards Allah Or his messenger And do not be treacherous As it relates to the trust that have been given to you And you know the importance of it So marrying a man's daughter She's an amana to you Working at a job that is an amana teaching people the deen that is an amana. The amana is an integral part of the life of the Muslim. And as such, many ayat and hadith have focused upon dealing with the importance of the amana and warning us of the danger of compromising the amana. Al Mustafa Al Mukhtar. He mentions Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. La Iman Liman La Amana Talahu. He doesn't have faith, the one who does not take care of the Amana. He says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that the sign of a hypocrite are three. One of them, if he is entrusted with something, he loses and he doesn't take care of the Amana. So, so many things can be talked about. And mentioned concerning the amana. What I want to remind you of is an amana that people compromise on a daily basis. And it has a lot to do with our mobile phones. The amana. Any and every time you receive a personal, private voice message, text message from someone. And it was only meant for you. And it wasn't meant for public consumption or public knowledge, then that is an amana. And it's not permissible for us to send people's personal voice messages that were sent to us or their written messages that were sent to us exclusively and we share them with other people. Especially when we know for a fact that the information that's being mentioned in the message is of the nature where it's really sensitive. Rasulullah mentioned in an authentic hadith, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. إِذَا حَدَّثَ الرَّجُ حَدِيثًا ثُمَّ الْتَفَتَ فَهُوَ أَمَانًا If a person, a man comes to you and he tells you some speech in private between you and him and then he looks around while talking to you, doing his, you know, speech to you. After he speaks to you, he tells you something and he looks around. You can clearly see he is sensitive and he is, you know, weary about who's listening. He only wants you to listen and to hear what he's saying. Rasulullah said, if a man speaks to you and he's doing that while talking to you, then what he's telling you is a trust. It is an amana. The authentic hadith said, Al-Majalis bil amana. When we sit together in our assemblies, our private sittings, what is discussed in that sitting is a trust. People who are privy to the information should not go outside of that private sitting and start sharing that information with other people. If you do that, that's a sign of an nifaq, hypocrisy. If you do that, that's a sign that you have Weakness in your deen. If you do that, that's a sign that you are fatan. And then you come and tell people, I didn't know it was secret between you and me. Really? The amana, as it relates to our phones. Stop sending out personal and private voice messages and emails and text messages that have been sent to us. Stop, stop sharing them with the dunya. This is an amana. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته